Oh, uh, hi friends. <laughs> and welcome back to Lolly Bee Bridge. Do you know what today is? It's science fair day. <laughs> I am so excited. And Miss Coates has asked if I can be a judge. I'm pretty excited about that. Yeah, but I need to find my hat. This one? This one? I just don't know. <laughs> I wear so many hats around this place. <laughs> well, while I try to figure this out, why don't you take a look at how Blue and Willow got along on their projects? Yeah. All right, I'll see you in a little bit. In the kitchen, Willow and Blue are working on their science projects. I wonder what their experiments are about. There! I finished it! Finished already? What have you drawn? That looks like Ruth! It is Ruth! I've drawn every stage of Ruth's life, from when she was a little fish egg to a fully grown fish! How is your project going, Willow? I am nearly finished, but I can't find a picture of a baby frog anywhere. How am I supposed to do a project about the life cycle of frogs without any baby frogs? I've looked through so many books, but there are no baby frogs, only these weird fish things. Huh. All of Willow's frogs are hopping away. Quick, everyone, on the count of three, we're gonna yell, Willow, the frogs! Are you ready? One, two, three. Willow, the frogs! <laughs> Huh? Oh no! My frogs are escaping! Come back! Uh-oh, the frogs are hopping out the door. Oh, pine cones. What am I gonna do now? I need the frogs for my science project. Hmm, maybe we can photograph some frogs instead. Photographs can't hop away. Blue does make a really good point. That's a great idea, Blue. Quick, let's go to the lake. At the lake, Willow and Blue have been searching everywhere for baby frogs, but they can't seem to find any. Look at all these frogs, and they're all fully grown. Maybe there aren't any baby frogs in this entire lake. <sighs> but it's spring. Animals always have their babies in the spring. Are frogs animals? Or are they fish? I don't know. We'll have to ask Miss Coates. Boo! What was that? That sounded like Henry. Henry? <laughs> Can that be Henry? Look, Miss Coates is over there. Miss Coates, Miss Coates. Hi Willow, hi Blue. How are your science projects going? Not so well. I can't find any baby frogs anywhere. I was down here yesterday trying to catch one, but I got really close to a small frog and I was about to catch it when... Oof. And then I fell on the lake face first. Ugh. Oh dear, well that's unfortunate. And strange too. Yeah, there are always tadpoles around in the springtime. A tadpole? What's a tadpole? Tadpoles are what we call baby frogs. Yeah, 
So tadpoles might look like fish, but as they get older, they grow arms and legs and they lose their tail and they become frogs. <laughs> yeah. Wait, you're telling me that fish turn into frogs? No, Willow, the frog that you found yesterday was an adult frog. It was just really small. Yeah, so frogs are amphibians. Oh, <laughs> that's a fun word, amphibian. Amphibians are land creatures, but they need to live really close to water. That sounds like me, Miss Coates. I'm a land creature, but I love the water. Wait, am I an amphibian? Not quite, Blue. Okay, well, what's the difference between a land creature and an amphibian? Well, amphibians are really special creatures. When they're babies or young, they can breathe underwater, like fish. Yeah, but as they get older and bigger, they have to breathe on land using their lungs like we do. That is so cool. Does that mean amphibians are both land creatures and water creatures? Exactly, amphibians are really special creatures. They're one of the only animals that can breathe underwater and on land. Isn't that cool? That is really cool. I hope we can find some tadpoles. I wanna see what they look like. Miss Coates, do you think there are any tadpoles around here? Sure there are. Tadpoles love to live in shallow water. Remember, unlike fish, tadpoles will grow up to be frogs who live on land. So they live in shallow water that is really close to the land. So when they grow their arms and their legs and get rid of their tails, they can crawl on up right onto the shore. Guys, look, I think there are some tadpoles here. Good find, Blue. Thanks to you, my project will be complete. Oh dear, projects! I almost forgot. Gosh, okay, I have to go set up for the science fair, but um, have fun, girls, and I wish you the best of luck. Bye! Now that I've got these photos, we better get going too. Bye, Miss Coates! At the science competition, Walter and Henry are trying to finish Henry's volcano, but they don't know how much baking soda to put in. I think we have to add a whole spoonful, Walter. I'm not sure, Henry. If we add too much, it will explode. I'm sure it won't explode. Quick, Miss Books is here. It looks like the competition is about to start. All right. I better get ready to be the judge. There, ready to go. All right, everyone, I've judged all of the science projects. Miss Coates? I thought Miss Books was judging today. Huh? Oh, uh, well, I guess I'll be judging today. But where did Miss Books go? I thought I just saw her. She, uh, um, had to go back to the library. All right, everyone, settle down. I have the winner of the science fair competition. Okay, so the winner is... <gasps> what was that? Henry, you're all covered in slime! What happened, Henry? Henry, are you okay? Henry? I, I, uh, I, 
I may have put too much baking soda in my volcano. Oh, Henry. Don't worry, guys. I'm okay. But I guess I can't win now. I think you did win, Henry. Yes, Henry, you are the winner. You might be covered in slime, but your volcano was amazing. And I know that you worked really, really hard on it. So I declare you the winner of this year's Lollipee Bridge Science Fair. Yay, Henry! <laughs> Congratulations, Henry! Wow, that was such a fun science fair. <laughs> Gosh, I really love science. I can't wait to see what everyone comes up with at next year's science fair. Wow. Hey, would you like to do a science experiment with me? Yeah, that would be fun. Huh. Okay, I'll have to think of some really fun science experiments that we can do right here in the library. And then maybe next time you stop by, we can do an experiment together. All right. Well, I'm gonna go research some really fun science experiments, but I hope I really see you again soon. Yeah, all right, friends, I'll see you next time. Bye.